the van is packed the van has been converted to red lighting it's full of gear because I am off to my second cloud camp with the UK cloud magnets up in Ludlow in Shropshire so tomorrow morning I'm going to be uh, heading off meeting up with Simon of Simon's Astro and we're going to be driving up in a little convoy of uh, Volkswagen camper vans to Ludlow in Shropshire and meeting up with all the other magneteers for hopefully some uh, clear skies and a great cloud camp. I think it's number eight, so uh, hopefully you'll join us. Uh, my name's Glenn, you're watching Astro Bloke. Simon's in barista training, Astro barista training. He was trying to make a Casio Piacino or a flat earth white. Flat earth white. And um, it all went wrong, didn't it? Because it just overflowed. It's taken me a while to find my uh, GoPro, but I did pack it and I've got my new little teeny red light, which is a bit better than the headlight I used to wear. You know you park your van that side to protect us? Yeah. The wind's coming wind's from that coming way. From the other bloody side, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. So Nightmare. we got our little gas fire on. Here we go. We got the tent up in between the vans and I've got me fan on in there to try and warm us up. And uh, we're at Cloud Camp and it's living up to its name because it's cloudy. <laughs> But right. the forecast says that tomorrow there could be some gaps and Monday the forecast looks quite good. So we're keeping our fingers crossed. We're keeping everything crossed. We're keeping everything crossed. But at the moment we're going to have some coffee. We are. Okay. Ready? Let's have some coffee. The coffee machine going. Oh, we've got a visitor. Shoes? Who's the shoes? It's Mark. Whose shoes are they? They're mine. Are they nice? Did you put them on by accident? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought it's because they might have dried out a little bit, that was why you felt different. I've got mine down there. Whoa, good morning everyone. So, uh, last night was a bit of a rough weather night. There was definitely no imaging going on. The uh, wind and rain was proper giving it some. But uh, although it's a wet day today, the wind has died down completely. And... Uh, we're hoping, well, we're all going to the pub today to get a Sunday roast, and hopefully the rain will stay away today. Thank you ever so much to uh, Andy, Neil, and Mark, who helped Simon and I when we arrived, uh, get this all set up. Um, so we just chucked all our stuff in. It looks like we've had a little water leak there, but uh, nothing major. So all our gears looked after, which is a good thing. Uh, and then we can uh, get a bit more organised today in the daylight because it was dark by the time we got set up last night. Hopefully have a good day and hopefully have a good night. So uh, we'll catch up with you later. Yeah, but you know what's happening, don't you, Simon? <laughs> what's that, Glenn? I'm filming you. Filming me. I'm filming you, I'm filming, filming me. You, filming me. <laughs> not this again. <laughs> I'm not filming anyone. Two hours. Two hours. You've got two hours to eat your dinner. Two hours. Come ahead guys, you gotta help me with my toe blinds. Come on. <laughs> we can help you. 
Come on. Thank you. Well, I'm just coming down here. Yeah, lots going on tonight, lots of fun. We've got all our rigs set up here. We have some clear sky making its way towards us if we're really lucky. Our rigs are ready. I've got mine sitting there. I'm just going to look for my Allen keys for someone who's got a bit of a problem with his mount. Needs to try and sort some tilt out. Say hi, Titch. Hello. 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 Right on. We're here at uh, Luke's CEM25 collection. He has a CEM25EC mm. and a CEM25 non-EC. It has a rather large wobble. Have a look at the wobble. Very nice. That's a serious wobble. We're going to fix it now. We're going to take some money off of Altair <laughs> by fixing it for him here. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's go, Luke. <laughs> got a ball head on it. So this is the issue I've got with that tilt adapter. I can't get the bloody ball head in. Oh, that's what I was going to do today. Get someone to cut me Allen keys. Oh, sorry, oh. mate. I've got some stubby ones. No, is, did you see that thing I put up? No. Yeah. There you go. I'll have a look. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Does that feel better? That's all that's a lot. Yeah, we were literally able to do that with it. Yeah. It looks a lot and I'm I'm half the price of Ian. So <laughs> that's, <laughs> you're just that's a what do you reckon? Yeah. That's about what four. Yeah. It's got to be four hundred yeah. quid of anyone's can, money, can isn't it? Yeah. 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 Like I, I've come out. Come out. <laughs> He's come all the way up from his new Suffolk house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sunday call out. Sunday that's call out. <laughs> <laughs> four hundred quid, mate. <laughs> what did you change? I just Nothing. just what? Get a new call one, out charge. We just tied it up. It's going to cost you. So we've now got a massive hive of activity because the sky has literally just cleared. I doubt you can see all these stars. And we can polar align. Right, I'm over at uh, my friend Andrew's uh, camp and I'm going to have a look at some of his mounts. He's got some that he borrowed and some that he owns and it's good to have a look at a few different things. So this is a uh, Ioptron Hem 27, weighs 3.2 kilograms 
and is capable of a payload without a counterweight of 13 kilograms and with a counterweight 20 kilograms. So a really capable mount. And these um, harmonic drive mounts are all the rage at the moment, especially with the new ZWO AM5 that's come out, which we're gonna have a look at in a moment as well. But before we do that, we'll have a look at Andy's other mount, which is a CEM40 which is uh, a nice looking mount indeed, very capable. I've now just recently bought a CEM26 and uh, they're really good. And they're nice and light and capable of carrying quite a good payload for their uh, overall weight. So they're much more portable than I've found with the Skywatcher mounts. Right, so we have here a, is it a toilet tent, Andy, or is no, it? No, it's an Explore right. Scientific Portable Obsey. All right, it's an Explore it's Scientific Portable Obsey. Oh, and here we have the AM5 by ZWO. It's a really nice looking bit of kit. So again, like the HEM27, it's capable of carrying 13 kilograms payload without a counterweight. And uh, I know that uh, Andy was getting really good guiding with this last night. I think it was, what was it, about 0.5? About 0.5. Yep, so that's really good. With a counterweight, you can put 20 kilograms on something like this. So that's a really impressive mount. Um, weighs a little bit more than the Ioptron. It uh, comes in at 5 kilograms, so uh, you're looking at a little bit more weight there. So, you know, you could argue not as portable, but it's still extremely light compared to... Uh, an equatorial mount that would carry the same kind of payload. Very nice. So, uh, yeah, nice kit. And we're all set up in the tent and he's going to do his unboxing. So this is my new Ascar 400. And we got Mark. Who's here too? Here we go. Come on then. I've not been. He hasn't got a switch. No, this no. is all done, isn't it? Ad lib. All off the cuff, mate. The cuff. Right. This has not been touched by human hands since last week. Oh man. Pa Unless it was packed by a robot. So. Oh, that looks nice. This is nice. That's a nice little. I like the red. Yeah, it's all red. All red. So. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to undo the... You have to undo those... Uh, yeah. What are they on? Allen keys? Yeah, I reckon they are, yeah. They're Allen keys. I need some Allen keys. I can't get the bag off. You'll never guess what I've got in there. A set of Allen keys? Old set of Allen keys. I might just need them. How are we getting on? Oh, yes, look. Um, I don't want to lose that. No, you don't. Put it in the box. It's in the box, mate. It's in the box. In the box. Mm. I thought it had been a, like a little thumb knob on there that you could turn rather than having to undo it with an hand. Mm. But, but, um, okay. That's what you get when you buy a cheap scope. Cheap scope? <laughs> Come on, look at this, look. Oh, oh it is oh. nice, isn't it? Come on. Let's just get you it could easily bag. change them to thumb screws, though. Sorry. You could do, yeah. Easy. What is, what is it, Simon? They're only, what are they, M3s? I reckon, yeah. It's really nice, or is it beautiful? Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, Look at that. You get a beautiful view through that. Right. Won't be night view glasses, don't I? Yeah. Huh? That's nice. Is it, what is it? F, do we know what uh, glass they have in it? Um, what's it say now? It's going to be a bit of 53. Got it? Standard now. Should be. Well, uh, might not be. APO. I think that was the thing. That I was it's saying about them, they don't say, design. they don't say, so I reckon it's FPL 51. Do you reckon? Possibly, I can't, I mean, it's a nice paint finish on there, that's, that's lovely paint job, finish. Yeah. It's got a nice thick paint on there, I like that. It's quality, yeah. It's the, um, really nice, yeah. Let's put it in the, um... As I say, we've seen Russell's images, have shown some, gr yeah. some great res well, results with it. Well, he loves it, not he? And what I like about it, it's got a, a 360 rotator built in. That's nice. Which, even my spring hasn't got that. But it might have soon. It might have if your one fits, yeah. It'll so, be a standard two inch. Like look at that little booty. Now I'm not going to do a rustle and sit it on the box. 
What, and catch it as it falls it to as the floor? Falls. Well, no. you're going to actually let it fall. <laughs> no. I'm not even going to sit it on the bottom. I'm going to keep hold of it. I would. But that's a nice little scope, mate. <laughs> so this is what we do at Astro Camp when it's cloudy. What, sit in a tent? <laughs> and play around with your new scope. It's about all you can do. And drink it? coffee. Got the fire on, though. Yeah. It's nice, mate. Beautiful. It's nice and compact, isn't it? It's a very compact. 420mm sure focal length. I think it's a 5.9. I think I saw 5. Point, was it 5.6? Did it say on it? Is it? I it was 5. Don't know, it says it on the front. It might be 5.9, 5.6. 5. Oh, it's 5.6, even better. Did I say 420? He did. That's it's 400. It's 400, yeah. You know, 400, 5.6. I was thinking about the bloody GT71. GT, yeah. The GT71 is yeah. 420. Yeah. It's the one I sent back, but this one, this is about the focal length I was after. 所以我们就是为了这个方向，我们就是为了这个方向，我们就是为了这个方向，我们就是为了这个方向，我们就是为了这个方向，我们就是为了这个方向，我们就是为了这个方向，我们就是为了这个方向，我们就是为了这个方向
Are you thinking of tearing your rig down before yeah, the morning? I'm doing it now, mate. Yeah, that's what I was thinking yeah, of doing. Tired and half already. All right, man. Yeah, mate. All right, let's just turn this off. We'll tear these rigs so, down and get them uh, away. I've just dragged myself up. It's quite early, about half seven. Last morning of uh, Cloud Camp, we uh, stuck it out. A lot of people left uh, last night or yesterday. Uh, because the forecast was not the best. Um, but we actually managed to get a few hours of really beautiful clear skies again. Um, and it was it was it was amazing. Simon was able to test out his new scope, his Ascar 400, um, and it looked like it took some beautiful images of Andromeda. Great detail beautiful stars so I'm really pleased for him and he was over the moon with the results. The most important thing about a star party or our cloud camps is it's a lovely social event, get to hang out with some really great people. Um, we're all interested in the same thing so we've all got plenty to talk about and um, it's just been a really lovely weekend. Um, so uh, yeah that's it so it's time for me to uh, pack up and uh, get back on the road home. Catch you later. And of course, as always, clear skies.